Hey everyone, I'm Purge and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about and show you the rewards for the quest that came out today. The King of the Dwarves. Um, yep, yeah, that's what it's called. It's called King of the Dwarves. Now interestingly, I've just finished the quest but it's still in blue, it's not in green. So that's quite weird. So, let's take a look at the XP rewards. I can actually show you one here. Um, two quest points. 45k mining XP, 50k smithing, 55k strength, um, and a new gravestone option, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, the quest itself, um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, there's one trial and error puzzle in it, which is, but it's not too bad. Um, the fight, which is against a level 160 um, foe, is very very easy. I didn't need to eat. I didn't need to use um, prayer. In fact, it didn't damage me at all. And you've got another NPC fighting it with you. So the fight is a bit of a pushover, but the quest overall is pretty good. Now, um, one of the rewards you get for this quest, which is right here, you get a big rock, and you can lift up for a new. Well, it's basically a moot, so we'll lift it. Oh, really strong. Yeah. Uh, there you go, lifted it. Very nice. Um, now, as you can see, I'm here in Keldgrim, um, at the Stone Mason where you get the gravestones. Um, I got my tiny strength. At the gravestones where you get them, I should say, and you get a new one. Well, you get access to a new one. You can buy it. Let's have a little look. Um, I don't know what he's saying. Come over to reply to him. So, let's look at the gravestones. Okay. I'll reply to him. There you go. Anyway. So, as you can see here, we get the gravestones. Now, I have this one. This was previously um, previously the highest one, um, the Angel of Death, which uh, as you can see is highlighted, I've got it. But now with another one, uh, this one, the Royal Dwarven Gravestone, looks pretty nice I must admit. Now, as you would assume, this is 500k. This gravestone is 500k. I, do you assume that it's going to be the same time of six minutes that this gravestone and this gravestone lasts? Well, if you did, you'd be right. Yep, everybody assumed that this gravestone would last longer than that one, but they're the same price, and indeed, they last for exactly the same amount of time, six minutes. Um, however, it does look pretty nice, so I'm going to buy it anyway. And there you go. I've bought the... Um, the gravestone and I don't know why I'm showing you I bought it but there you go there I've bought the uh, gravestone yep doesn't last any, last any longer but um, it's the same price so you probably wasted 500k if you buy it but I like the look of it so I bought it um, one other thing um, now they mentioned on the 27th Dragons mentioned on the 27th that uh, there's going to be special surprises being launched um, for the 10th anniversary of RuneScape because today is the 10th anniversary of RuneScape and um, what they did was um, they're hosting, Jagex are hosting uh, drop parties around RuneScape um, and for the details of where they actually are you can go to the RuneScape forums, uh, RuneScape Twitter, Facebook all that good stuff, and find out where they are. And what you get from these is 10th um, anniversary candles and 10th anniversary cakes. And you, um, when you get 10 candles, you can put them all on the cake, and you can light the cake, uh, light the candles on the cake, and then you've got a full 10th anniversary cake with 10 candles on it. Um, if you don't want to bother getting the candles and cake from the drop parties, you can actually get them get them from any um, monster NPC drop between Rimmington and the Sawmill, which is the oldest area of RuneScape. So, um, this might go badly now, but I'm going to try, if I go to Varrock, 
I'm going to try and get some candles and cake. So, let's have a... Um, I'm going to say let's kill a guard, perhaps. Um, let's have a look at a guard. Okay. This is between between um, the sawmill and Rimmington, I guess. So let's kill a guard. Oh look, and yeah, they dropped uh, tenth anniversary candles. Um, I got one. As I said, to get the full tenth anniversary cake, you've got to get ten candles and the cake. You put all the candles on the cake. And then you light all the candles and then you've got a full 10th anniversary cake. And once you've gotten it, you can always get it back from Diango in Draenor, like with every other um, non-tradable event item. So, there you go folks. That's the update. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please rate, comment and subscribe. And as always, if you want to speak to me or anyone else in the CC, please join Epic Nom. There I am. Okay folks. Bye for now.